Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Sleeping, sleeping Gods. gods. We should not wake the Sleeping Gods. We are going to wake those gods. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so um, Sleeping Gods is uh, the next game uh, in production by Ryan Lockhat for Red Raven Games. Mm -hmm. It is a cooperative exploration storytelling game that plays one to four players in about 60 to, I think, 840 minutes. I think it even goes up to 12. 1200 or something, something like that ridiculous it's, it's something ridiculous it's many 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 hours of play yep. um because there's lots and lots of story to explore so all right so join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays all right welcome back yes sleeping welcome gods Welcome to our boat. Welcome to our boat. So, <laughs> Sleeping Gods, as Francis said, is a cooperative adventure game. And we must warn you before you watch this video. Yes, do the I talk to Ryan disclaimer. Yes. <laughs> so I spoke with Ryan. Um, and there are definite concerns with regards to spoilers. So if you do not want any spoilers, I suggest you turn the video off now and watch another video that doesn't quite go through the story because you know we do playthroughs and we're going to play right. through this and how else can you play through a game and not show spoilers you just can't do that in a game unless like this. there is a special demo to show you in which case right here there's not there's not so. so we are going to go as light on spoilers as we possibly can we're not going to read a lot of the text from the book mm -hmm. uh we're going to go uh summarizing everything we're going to yeah. go along we're going to try to demonstrate as many of the mechanics as we possibly can and we're not going to make this a very long playthrough because right. I think the longer we go, the deeper we'll get into the game and the more right. you're going to see. And that's just none of that. That just leads down a very bad path, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that, like you said, we're just going to try to show you enough uh, to, to do the game justice as far as showing you how it plays, as always. Right. Um, but leaving, again... 14 hours worth of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> entertainment for you to uncover. Yes. And so. discovery, right? Because the beauty <laughs> yeah. of these types of games is in the discovery. Right, so right. without further ado, now that you've been warned, we are going to proceed. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> take a look at the table and uh, we'll go over the setup really quick, uh, give you sort of an idea of what goes on, and then we're going to jump right into the adventure. So uh, here we have the Atlas. So this is an Atlas game, which mm -hmm. means that this game board expands way beyond the two pages you see here. If you go off the side of the board, you're going to go to another page where there's plenty of other, and I won't show them, Don't here, even show. <laughs> uh, maps and uh, different areas for you to explore and encounter and all sorts of good stuff, right? Um, but the premise is we are in the 1920s, right? Uh, taking, uh, I guess, the role of Captain Sophie Odessa, and mm -hmm. she is on her way from Hong Kong to New York with her crew, they hit a storm, they end up in a place that they have no idea where they're at, right? Right. So long story short, they run into some people or a person and mm -hmm. a couple things happen. They're back at their ship. They've, they, all they know now is they've got to find artifacts to get out of here. Right. And, we're, and I'm being as vague as I possibly right, can without right. being too vague, okay? So, and I will say yeah. too, because I don't know if we said this, we're actually, we're going to be starting this playthrough after the introductory scenario. Yes. Because there is a scenario that'll take you through just very basic actions but yes. doesn't show you really how the game plays so we're starting after that so we're not even giving you the introduction right so you, <laughs> you can, can do that on keep your that to yourself <laughs> uh so let's just go over components real quick yes. so we've got a number of decks of cards out here so we've got our, our manda cores that, that's our ship so we have our shipboard 11 health we have a morale track we start with five morale we have event cards that are going to come at the end of every turn and we're going to have to face those events and it's also the timer uh, we have a, a combat card, which we'll go through later, port card, we may not even see this game. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have these four cards over here, which are our adventure cards. And those are available to us as part of the, I guess you could say it's part of the gear we have on our mm -hmm. ship. And we can use it at any point during the game. Right. Uh, we each have four crew members and Captain Odessa. And the way this game works is the, the player one controls Captain Odessa and all of their respective crew. And that'll change mm -hmm. every turn, right? Um, here we have the market deck, and that's going to have a bunch of cards that we're allowed to buy if we stop at a market or a trading post. Um, here we have ability cards, which we'll go through in a second. Uh, these are ex uh, basically skills, so mm -hmm. you will level up your characters in this game, and you'll yes. give them some really good skills, which is really cool. Um, 
This is our quest deck, which we'll go through at some point. And we have a monster deck because we're going to be fighting lots of monsters. Yes. So like that's what you see out on the board. There are different resources and we'll go through them as well. Mm -hmm. But just for the starting setup, yes, our ship, and I'm going to keep it sideways because if I put it straight up from the top yeah, down view, you, you won't be able it. to see where the <laughs> ship is. So uh, the way this board is sort of broken up is, is by these little dots and they, they represent regions. So when you move, you can move from region to region. Mm -hmm. And eventually, if you want to move off the map, you can do that too. So, um, but if you're in a certain region, and just imagine there's dotted lines going down this. Right, because there are, but you, again, you can't see them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the they're even hard to see for me, yeah. but they're definitely on this binder. Uh, but you can interact with anything within that region, and there's a number of things we can do. Um, we have seven actions we can take on our turn. We can travel, we can explore, uh, and, and we'll go through all them. I don't mm -hmm. want to go through them yet. Yeah, yeah. So, I, is there anything else you want to talk about before we jump in? You want to go Did through you want me to go through these? Yeah. Quick? I think it's okay to go through these. I think so. Okay. I guess just generally speaking. Yeah, so these... Um these are examples of these kind of story cards that, yeah, that you'll get. They're quests. They're kind of like little quests that will guide your um, your entire play of the game. So at the start, we ended up with these two quests, and the one is called um, Raids on Last Hope. Um, I, w I won't even get into reading the, the flavor text, but essentially we're trying to look for a fishing village. Um, and uh, it kind of gives you some direction on where that fishing is. So what direction is so in this, that in so that we know? Yeah, in this case, it's kind of northeast of the Sakura Trading Post. So we know the Sakura Trading Post is here. Um, so we're looking for a fishing village that's northeast of Zakura Trading Post, which is pretty much everywhere. So, Could be. Um, so that is, uh, and then we also have on these cards uh, keywords. So on the bottom of the card, you'll see this one says raid. Mm -hmm. That's a keyword. So if we're encountering a story and it has that keyword, then we know that, that that might change things a little bit. Which is very important. Um, yeah. Yes, very important. So the second one is to investigate a cottage. So Mac, who is in your party over here, um, is actually a person that we found. Um, she was on her way to search for some treasure, or a, a treasure hunter's cottage. Um, they're still trying to figure out how they're going to get home, and part of that is is thinking maybe they could go find this cottage. So again, north of the Zakura Trading Post, there's a cottage near a bridge. So you'd look on the map and say, okay, where do I see kind of like a cottage near a bridge? Maybe that's where I need to start going. Okay. So those are our two quests that we're looking for yeah, right they, now. They, these are really just quests that you have. You don't have to go check it out. You don't. You can go, it's a sandbox. You, you can go anywhere. But you should. I wouldn't travel too far off because yeah. like, just think of a video game where you go and a game that's open world, right? Uh -huh. And you go into a zone you're not supposed to go in yet, yeah. and all of a sudden everybody in there is like 20 levels higher than you, and mm -hmm. you get crushed, and you're like, okay, maybe I didn't, I shouldn't have gone there. Like any of the RPGs, like Dragon Quest, something yeah. like, like that's where you go, and you're like, well, okay, I know I need to go back and level mm -hmm. up a lot more before I go yeah. out there. This is like that too, but you'll probably die before you. Or can turn certain back. things won't be available. So like you might, if you try to go somewhere before you have the keyword or before you've encountered something else that you're meant to encounter, yep. then the story itself will kind of turn you back around. Mm -hmm. So it'll guide you, even though it's kind of sandboxy. You'll know if you're getting into something or not. Yep. All right, cool. So those are that's what we have to start with. All right. So turn structure, quite simple. Uh, each player gets to take two actions. Mm -hmm. Any of those seven actions, uh, we have these little tokens are called command tokens and you use them to activate anything uh play uh, character abilities uh some of these uh, equipment cards up here these adventure cards and they'll, they'll give you bonuses for using them right um and there's an action you can take that actually clears these off and goes away there's a limit of these though so you you at some point will start every turn you're gonna you're gonna draw three of them into your supply and use them yeah but if they're all out on the board and you don't clean them up you're gonna eventually run out so right. you want to manage that because this, this is really how you get yourself um you know prepared right you also started with three uh, ability cards ability cards uh, yes. so player one gets those and we draw them uh, you draw two of them every round yeah. So you start the game with three, and now these cards are, are multi-use. Mm -hmm. So well, actually, not really multi-use, but <laughs> they um, th they are in a sense that you have to equip them, and they they cost mm -hmm. these command points. It gives you the cost of them. They you assign them to a particular character uh, of yours that you're controlling, and it will give them a bonus to one of their attributes, a plus mm -hmm. one bonus to one of their attributes that it shows you, uh, and it'll also give you a potential uh, activation or passive ability in right. relation to that. Yeah. So I'll give you an example, because I will equip this okay. just to show how. Um, so, um, and I have to think about who I want to put it on. But like this card, for example, is Adrenaline. So it gives me plus one damage if health is below six. Mm -hmm. um, it costs two of these 
um, action tokens to equip it, but you're going to constantly be getting those command tokens, so it's right. okay to spend them. Um, and I can equip this on anybody. And I'm looking at my, maybe like my strength numbers here. Mm -hmm. um, and I may p actually put this on the captain. Yeah, that's probably you know what smart. Because I mean? she's going to get, she's going to get hit a lot, I think. So I'll put that there and I'm paying two right. command tokens to equip that. And at the beginning of the game, you start with four and you allocate them as you so desire. So I gave yeah. us two each to start. Yeah, I, I could have good. given you all four if you wanted, because yeah. I'm going to draw three on my turn, mm -hmm. however you want to do it. Yeah. I think Maybe that's, fine. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't <laughs> Whatever you want. N neither of these I don't think we really need right now. So okay. I'm okay. So I, I think we're ready to start with the action phase. Okay. All right, so what are we doing first? All right. Um, well, I think we should probably take a search action first. All right, so action one will be so, to, to search. search this and guy. As long as we got cons there, we can do it. So we have this stack of search tokens. Literally, all you do is take one. <laughs> just take one, and it could be a number of different things. Usually, it's just finding stuff. So Yeah. What do we get? Uh, we get money. Or two wood. Oh. Uh, I think we should take two we'll wood. Start with three bucks and some, yeah, some let's grain. Start with some wood. So now we'll get some wood. So we yeah. have two planks of wood. So Excellent. that goes out of the game. All right. So that was my first action. Okay. And my second action, I think I will explore number two. All right. So it's so, number two's in our region. We we'll go to the book. And this should all seem very familiar yes. to those of you who've played <laughs> a Red Raven game. And then you just look up number two. Yep. Now this is where I'm going to try not to... You could probably read like the first story okay, first so you story. get an idea of what's like. Give you a little flavor, right? So story number two. Here we go. Yeah. Foamy waves burrow their way into the cave through a maze of mossy rocks. Lengthening across the sand, they brush the heel of a skeleton, smiling, reclined, against a blood rust iron door. Right? So you have two choices. He's smiling. He's smiling at you. Two choices. Actually, three choices. Okay. okay. Uh, you can search the skeleton. Okay. You can open the door, but that requires a keyword, which we cannot do. Okay. Or we can leave and return to the ship. Oh, I guess I'll search the skeleton. Search then. the skeleton. Okay. So searching the skeleton. A bag falls slack from the skeleton's fingers. You expect an easy pinch, but a milk pink mouth hisses out and fastens to your hand. Oh. You whip the snake by the tail against the cold, wet wall of the cave. Gain two coins. Okay. And gain one venom. Oh, great. So, so a you, couple things that are happening here. Yeah. yeah, so the active player decides which of their characters they want to give the envenom. Right, too. Yeah, so, so this, who's doing the exploring here? Well, that's up to you. I know. <laughs> I was just thinking out yeah. loud. <laughs> um, I mean, I can go into it with her, well, if but we may her need... Her ability is if her dam if she gets plus one damage, if her health is below six. So she's yeah. probably going to take some damage here. Right. So that might actually be yeah, good. So she yeah, because what the Venom does is it you take one damage at the start of your turn. Yeah, so. every turn. And we would still like to heal that. Yeah, but at the start whatever. of every turn. We're so gonna she take can do her. that. And then, um, and then what does it say? I'm going back to the ship. After back that? to the ship. Okay. So that is um, it. And now the other thing that's going to happen is that because she participated in the challenge, yes. she's going to become tired. Tired. So every character that participates in a challenge takes fatigue. Right. The first fatigue is called tired. So yep. now all of her abilities are reduced by one. Yeah. So this, she's... The second fatigue is called exhausted. Yes. And that actually impacts your... Um, strike her combat ability. her combat damage yeah and she can no longer participate in challenges because right. she's just exhausted but she's just very tired right now okay. she's just a little tired yeah uh, and she's poisoned yes so, she's, there's that little so bit. i get player one now so yeah. i control captain yes, sophie odessa who is now poisoned she now takes damage because she is hurt so at the start of every turn she's going to take Oh, yeah, because she is yours now. She is mine. So, yeah, she's even it's mm -hmm. in Venom's not good. So yeah. I would love to heal her, but I don't have that ability. Okay. Uh, you actually do. do. Yep. Right. Your doctor, Dr. Do. Gregory Little, he can do that. I'm assuming he's a doctor. He has a stethoscope. <laughs> so he's <laughs> and also a chef jacket. He's definitely a doctor. <laughs> so now we know that we've explored that and we've done number two. So I can actually go, I can explore number 174. 20, but yeah. first I'm going to draw my card. So okay. and it, it tells you what you should do. You draw a card. Mm -hmm. So I get a card now. I draw three of these tokens mm, used to be two. used, yeah, to, be used two. to be two <laughs> it's been updated and now we have an event actually i think we should have done an event for you first not oh, your yeah, turn you know what we didn't, didn't and then we skipped that so we'll go back all right so her event the crew spots a weathered raft 
Mm. We can search it. Uh, we search it. Perception four. So you should probably do this test. Oh, okay. So. So sh is that the eyeball? That is the eyeball. Okay, she's got a four. So she's going to do the perception of four yeah. test. So this is quite simple. What you do is to to test. You take uh, and as many characters as you want, you can have participate in this. Mm -hmm. So what you do is, um, if I wanted to, I can even participate. And this is right. a good example of this, right? So even though you know it was technically your turn, you chose uh, Kasumi, Kasumi to do the test. I could say, you know what? This is going to be a really tough one. So I'm also gonna I'm gonna pay one of my command mm -hmm. tokens to give Mac, uh, you know, to I'll help you with contribute. it. And yeah. then you would add the two of them together, which right. would be six. Six. And we're all, but it's only four, and you have a four. Yeah. So the the test is you basically draw an ability card. Mm -hmm. There should be a fate number on top. Yep. Which of these numbers? And it's a six. It's a six, of course. <laughs> so we like super search yeah. that that ref. You add the two together. Six before is ten. You definitely passed, and we gain a grain for that. Nice. All right. If we would have failed, we would have done other things, but we didn't, and I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> so that was that was us my catching event. up for your yeah. event, and we'll we'll just do mine now. All right. So the beginning of my turn. Carpenters and Iron Lucran ship with a crane approaches. So we could pay for repairs, but our ship's not hurt. We can sell materials to gain money. We're to decline their services. Uh, I don't think we I need their services. Need so um, this deck is seated, easy, medium, and in hard events. So it's <laughs> going to get harder as it goes. So if these yeah. seem kind of light, don't worry about it. It's going to get worse. So now I'll continue with my two actions. Yep. Yeah. What would you like where to do? Would you, where do you think we should go? I don't know. Um, I still think we should go to this cottage, but... And so you're, you're thinking it's up here, because there I is on the there map... because it, it looks like a cottage, and it's got a bridge. So we can go explore. So I'm going to use my first action will be to travel. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to see if I'm going to equip this card. Okay. Um, yes, I do. So this is going to cost me two command tokens, and it's, it's a power strike. So this is going to be... This is going to be really good. So who do I like in combat? Probably Raphael. He's going to get the power strike. So okay. he also gets a bonus to his uh, eyeball. Oh, very good. So my second action will be to explore number 34. All right. Let me see that book. All right. What do we have? And now we're, we're no longer going to read stories. Sorry. You have to get the game and figure it out yourself. Yep. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to read like the bold text that yeah. like summarizes what happened. So you searched and you found an old cottage filled with broken furniture. Cool. Gain one material, return to the ship. That's it? Does it no keyword? If keyword cottage. We have keyword Okay, that's that's kind <laughs> of important. So <laughs> we do. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think that's right. Keyword cottage. Okay. This is this is where the keywords are important. Okay, right? here we go. All right. Um it could okay, I'm not gonna read it. So an old woman is in the cottage. Okay. She refuses to give you her map. Well, okay. That's so a your problem. options are you can ask the woman why she won't give you the map. Or you can let Mac, who's probably familiar with this person, yeah. try to talk her into giving you the map. Ooh, okay. Um, actually, what we forgot to do is give a fatigue token to your Kasumi before. Because she, oh. she took that test in the air. Oh, um, I thought that was just for these books. And all tests. Okay, yeah. All yeah. tests. Okay. She was so busy. She swooned that raft like and stuff. Didn't she was. Rain. All right, so what do you want to do? Well, let's let's ask her yourself, or have Mac talk to her. Let me ask her. You gonna ask her yourself? Yeah. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> the map only brings death. She says. Okay. Um, Mac slams her hand against the wall. I don't want your soup, or your sermons. What? This has got <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, ask Anne why she doesn't want the gods to awaken. All right. Um, why don't you want the gods or, to awaken? Or, uh, or you have another option. Okay. You can restrain the old woman and search for the map anyway. And that requires a strength of eight. <sighs> I, can I just ask her why? You can ask her. Why, Anne? Why, oh, why? Oh, why? Um, okay, so you're asking her why she doesn't want the gods to awaken. Yeah. It's kind of why she doesn't want to give you the map, right? Of course. So, um... Because they're sleeping, we know. I know. Um, so I'm just going to read this. So I, I knew some hunters who trapped a panther. It had eaten half their livestock. They didn't kill it. Just let it sit in its cage. Uh, the day it broke free was the last day they ever saw. The gods won't forget their captors and they won't show any mercy. So Okay. Um, so your options are, don't you want to see your loved ones again, you mm -hmm. ask? Um, you can also convince her that you'll, you'll look for another way to get home 
if she gives you the map. Sure. You that's... have to test cunning of 11. Whoa. And the third option is to restrain her and search for the and map. And that's strength of eight, right? Strength of eight. Yeah, she's getting restrained. You're going to restrain her? Yep. All right. Versus cunning of 11? That's a Cunning of much. 11 is crazy. Well, you're pulling a card, but it's like you got to pull Well, like I'm going to use a couple of people here. So cunning, uh, strength of eight, right? Strength of eight, yeah. All right, so I'm going to take some fatigue tokens because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need like three people on this. All right, so I'm going to use Lawrence, Marco, and Mac are okay. all going to restraints. So that's two, four, six. Okay. And five. Wow, okay. So more, than, more enough. than enough. Yep. Um, all right, so you have passed the test. All right. Um, what happens? Give me that map. <laughs> Let's see if you can get the map this time. Um, all right. Um, all right, so you're tearing through the cottage, you're looking for the map. Uh, you gain one coin, mm -hmm. one grain, mm -hmm. and one feared point. So let's talk about these things that you're going to find in the story. Yes. Uh, because this is kind of like sort of like a legacy thing, you are building up your character. Um, you have a log, which uh, we can probably we'll show, show you later, you at the end. Um, that you'll keep track of things like um, whether you're feared or you're revered mm. or, you know, kind of like... And that will impact things in the future. So right now you have one feared point. So we would mark that in our yes. journal. Because we um, restrained this old woman. <laughs> yes. So now we're feared. Yes. Uh, that goes for XP too. If you were to gain experience, exactly. you would also place it. And we there. also gain one XP. All right. Um, complete quest two. So that's this cottage quest. This is now complete. All right. So I'll put the completes over yeah, here because we want to make sure if we ever need that keyword, we're going to have that. Um, gain quest six and return to the All ship. All right. So we go to the quest pile. We gain quest number six. And it is called Falcon. Search for the lost outpost. Yep. Um, so the map's leading us to a forest on the island to the east, and we have keyword Falcon. All right, so somewhere to the east yes. we have to go. So that was the end of my turn. Excellent. It is your turn. Okay. And Captain Sophia Odessa yeah, is going to take more damage. Taken care of. Uh, we'll do another event. And I get uh, command points. You get three command points, and you draw a card. Yeah. One, two, three. All right. Oops. So we have... A huge barge loaded with timber approaches. You may pay one coin to buy two materials. Uh, I think we're I okay on materials, good. so we're going to yeah. pass pass that by. So these are pretty right. decent events. And so I'm going to use, to start off, just mm -hmm. to prep here, um, I'm going to use my two command tokens on Gregory Little to remove Venom <laughs> from the captain. Correct. So that's that going to go good. away. That's what, exactly Boom. what I was hoping you are going to do. Yes. Each character has multiple skills that you can place these command tokens on. Yep. Um, that all do different things. They add, mm -hmm. add combat damage. They let you do all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. The Kanan Sharma, he removes Frightened. Oh. So he kind of pacifies you. If we're scared, you. he's like, you're all <laughs> like, good now. Okay. Uh, it, as long as... And, and the way you know that you're done, if there are ever any of these command tokens on a character or on an adventure card in your, in your inventory, you can't put any more there. So you right. know you have to take the um, prepare action to remove all of those mm -hmm. and, and get rid of them. So yeah. uh, okay. now get ready for your turn. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna look at this. I have this good card called Rage. Mm. This crew member may place damage diagonally but may not participate in challenges. Oh, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. Good. Yeah, but do you but have enough command for it? What? Really no, don't. I don't. I okay. don't. I was just thinking about it. Going forward. Okay. Um, all right, great. So I think we have this. We have this thing about a forest that we can go try to find mm -hmm. on an island to the east. It's on an island to the east. It's it could probably be, over could here. Be there. We also have this. Our first exploration thing which is about these rat creatures attacking a fishing village which and i looks feel like, like it might village. be up there so okay. i think what i'm gonna do is first move all right so, so i'm gonna move one now i'm moving into yes. another thunderstorm a raging storm yes so i do have to actually test we have two I? options here right yeah. so first is if you have an equipped card with strength on it i do you can discard it and we'll avoid all damage if not, we will take one damage to the ship yeah. with a, t a test of fate. 
of five or greater. So okay. we just have to draw a card, and if it's five or greater, we successfully get through the storm. If it's under five, we, we have take, to draw a card. Yep, just one yeah. card. Go ahead, draw that card. I don't think we're gonna. It's just five one. Or it's just one whole damage. Oh, it's like we can still make it through. Of course, we just have to repair the ship at some point. It's a five. It's a okay. five. So we made it through. <laughs> we did. Yeah, okay. we have eleven health on our ship, yes. so we could we could afford to take some. We have Great. a lot of wood to repair later. We do. All right. Um, okay, so I have two numbers actually that I can explore: fifty-eight and sixty-three. Ooh. Um, one looks like it's a little bit closer to the town. Which one do you want to do? I don't know. Um, I guess I could. Try Try 63. Right, I'll take the book. And 63 it is. Oh dear. Okay, do okay. we have keywords raid? We do. We do. Okay. So then we need to turn to a different one. What's well, funny, it's sending us 58. to 58. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, here we go. So we spot a. Oh, I can't read all this. Okay. <laughs> all right, we hear a scream from the village. Ah. All right. Do we watch safely from the ship? <laughs> yes. Which sounds like a good idea. Or <laughs> do we land at the around. pier? What do you want to do? Uh, let's land at the pier. Probably people need our help. All right. So to summarize, there are villagers fighting giant rats while houses are burning. Are we going to put out those fires? Are we going to fight these rats? Or we'll do what we can in the chaos and get out of there. <laughs> We're going to take our flapjacks and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. Should we... Should we fight the rats, or do you think we should put out the fires first? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that, that's, well, that's your choice. I can't I know, tell you. I know, I know, I know. What's the, is there a thing with the fires? Is there like I a... I can't, I don't think I can tell you that. You're going uh... to you're gonna have to choose. Let's try to put out the fires. Really? Okay. It's a strength of 10 test. Well, you're supposed to, you're allowed to tell me that before. I don't think I Yes, know. but I told you yours. Remember, I was like cunning 11, and you're like, no, I'm not doing no, that. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Oh, okay. It's a strength 10 test. I'm not doing that. I can't possibly. You need to exhaust a lot of people. Yeah. All right. You could do it. It's not going to affect anything other than tests. I mean, but my people aren't very strong, though. It's, a problem. it's like three, four, five, six, seven. And you only need a 10, right? Oh, it's this damage? Yeah. That yeah. one, not this one? Yes, Oh, that's correct. for fighting. That's people. fighting, yeah. For testing, it's just... Uh, uh, well, she's actually a 3 right now. But she would be exhausted if we were to use her again. Yeah, that's true. But I could we could sleep her. Right. Uh, not if we have to fight rats after this. I know. Which I'm assuming, because rats are attacking the Let's door. just go and fight the rats. Let's just. You want to just completely Let's bypass just the fight fires? The rats. Okay. Let's just fight the rats. All right. So we're going to fight rats. So we need to go into this book. It tells me exactly which ones we are going to fight. It tells you which cards to pull. There's specific cards that are numbered. We shuffle them up, and then we place them out randomly. So I want to put them right out here. And they have to be adjacent to each other because this matters. Okay. So this is the combat round. Yep. So we've got a rat alchemist, a rat stabber, and a rat brawler. All right. Ooh, okay. Um, all right. Let's fight. So, Fight. <laughs> uh, each of us gets, so this is how combat works. So each of us gets these two combat tokens. Mm -hmm. Our combat round goes first. We're going to play two to two combat rounds each in any order. It doesn't matter. You can go two in a row. You can alternate. It, doesn't, yep. it really doesn't matter. Um, we're going to pick a crewman or woman mm -hmm. to attack. And we will see if we can damage them. So the heart, so every yeah. rat has a grid. Mm -hmm. The object is to cover up the hearts. You cover right. up the hearts. You defeat them. Correct. They have a, um, a defense rating mm -hmm. uh, where we have to test our accuracy to see if we hit them. Yes. And you have to meet that rating. Right. So they are quite tough. They are. So He's would you like to take six. the first swing? I will take the first swing. I guess I'll take, maybe I'll take Kasumi. Mm-hmm. Because um, she has an accuracy of two. And she hits for three, which is pretty good. All um, right. So who are you targeting? I am going to target... Maybe I'll target the stabber. That's good. If you see three rats, always hit the one in the middle, right? Isn't that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> if you see three of something, hit the see, one in the middle. Did they actually say that? I think they do Who's say they? that. Who's they? 
uh, well, there's always that they. There's always that, they who say these things. <laughs> they always. They keep telling me. Yes. Um, all right. So I can. Uh, I'll strike him. I guess. All right. So you need to test now. So every character, just to give people an idea of what's yeah. happening here, on the bottom of your of your character uh, sheets, you have a number of stats. So you have their health. Mm -hmm. You have their accuracy. You have the damage they'll do, and any uh, shielding they'll they'll be able to absorb by taking damage. Um, because each character has a weapon by default. Right. So you're swinging with your Wakazashi. Which is has a defense of zero. A defense of zero, but it does a d total damage of three. Right, exactly. And she has an accuracy of two. So you yep. need to, to reach an accuracy of four, so you, you draw a fate card. I was just thinking. And it's okay, a six. it's a six. So you so hit. I super hit this guy. So I am hitting for three. Mm-hmm. Um, and the way this works is, the way, big reason why it's a grid is because you want to kind of envision that these rats are actually out there like right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And so when you're hitting them, it's not really just arbitrary, but you're actually like slashing them, you know? So when I'm, when I put down these wound tokens, they have to be adjacent to each other. Mm -hmm. The reason why they're in this pattern like this is because I could choose to give one damage to well, like to him, and then to let that kind of splash over and hit the next guy as mm -hmm. well, because I'm going like this, and I yes. actually hit both of them by accident. Uh, but I'm actually not going to do that. <laughs> That's actually um, not a bad idea. It's I know it's not like a terrible idea. Um, if I could, because here's what I'm thinking: if I can go there, mm -hmm. if you hit him, you could you have the opportunity to hit both of these. You know what I mean? Exactly. At the same time. Do you see what I mean? Exactly. So, like, I couldn't hit that one, right? Right. Because I, you, they're not adjacent to the other two to kill him. Mm -hmm. So if you were to, like, hit that one mm -hmm. and then splash over to hit that one, yeah, then I could kill either of those two exactly. in one round. Exactly. That's kind of what I was thinking. That's exactly good. Because you did kind of like a curve slash and it hit both rats, right? Yes. And you covered up two of these diamonds. Right. So, yes. Oh, sorry. Explain no. the diamonds. <laughs> so there's a, a combo card for combat, mm -hmm. right? And every time you cover up a diamond, you move this diamond up one. So we go actually go up two. Mm -hmm. And then either of us can actually spend those two to get the bonus. And the right. bonus in this would be one more accuracy. So if we're really hurting to get this guy who's got a six mm -hmm. accuracy, you could spend that. If you get yep. it up all the way to the top and use it, you get an additional combat action for that round. Right. So another person can actually fight. Yeah. Now, the last thing I have to do is take my damage. You do. So um, this rat is going to deal two damage plus any of these like critical marks that mm -hmm. are left on their card. So there's only one. So it's going to be two plus one for so three damage total. Wow. That she's going to take yeah, because she hard. doesn't deflect any of it. Any of it. Yeah, that's so. a shame. Yeah. So okay. I, I guess I'll take a swing, right? Yeah. Quite Who literally. Who are you going to target? Uh, I guess I'll use, I'll use Mac. Okay. She's got a two. I'm going to go after the same guy you did. Okay. And I will draw a fate because I have two. Mm -hmm. And the fate is three. So that's five. Okay. That, well, that'll do. So that'll hit. And I do two damage mm -hmm. on Max. So she's going to hit him and he's dead. Right. So dead. we've got dead. two more rats left. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's going to be tough. So I don't know if you want to go after him, and then I'll go after him to yeah, soak up some damage. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how your your accu his accuracy is really good. Yeah, I'm going to use him on the big guy. I don't have anybody with that. I have Gregory Little. So then go after the four. Yeah. See if you can knock him out. Yeah, I'll go after him and see. Uh, one thing I'll note, because I know a lot of you are probably thinking this right now, is that um, your characters actually do not become exhausted mm -hmm. or tired when they're fighting combat. Correct. Which is a little bit counterintuitive, but it's only when they're going out exploring and stuff. They're, like, made for this. Mm -hmm. so. They're made to fight. Yes. All right, so he's going to do two accuracy, and let's see. And two. That's exactly four, mm -hmm. which is exactly what I need to hit him. So I'm going to hit him for two damage. two damage, which is all I need. So boom, boom. And he is also dead, so you need to kill this guy. All right, so I have one left. So I guess I'm going to use Rafael De Luca. Mm -hmm. He does. Do you want to use this too, or do you think you might be? You'll probably be fine, right? I don't. I don't know. I have a three. I need three. Maybe we should reset this and give me four. Yeah, just in case. And then draw. Mm-hmm. 
and it's a six. I didn't of need course, that. Yeah. Okay, so yourself. I'm gonna do two damage. Yeah. I could plus damage when you hit. If I paid two onto right. my power strike, would give me an additional damage for three. Okay. And I can go one, two, three. So he only does two damage now versus four. Okay. Because, because I'm a health of seven. Right, but I'm I have zero armor. Still, yeah. Right. Mhm. Mm so I think that's probably best because otherwise going to hit me for four, and that's a bit much. Yeah, but here's the problem: is that I have to hit him for three now, <clears throat> and I don't have anybody who hits for three. He does. Yeah, but he also has zero accuracy. He sure does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I'm. I mean. That's just going to be tough as all. Well. Okay. So this goes up one. I covered up one? Yeah. All right, so it's it's the end of the combat round, so the, um, so the rat would have, um, he would have any end of round abilities, which are adjacent regen, so he would regen adjacent, mm -hmm. he would heal them, basically, right, but right, they're both but they're dead. dead. So he's not going to do that. And he does get an attack, so he's going to hit for two, and you decide who takes it. Okay. I will give it to... The active player. Um, well, they would all attack, but they're all dead. Yeah, I know. I guess I'll give it to this guy. The Doc? Yeah. Sorry, Doc. Okay. It's just thematic. So then we take these back. Okay. And we go into the next fighting round. Yep. So, do, so I, could, I could actually start you off. You could start off. And, do you want to do that? And just use Raphael again. Yeah, I'm just worried that, yeah. These so guys. he's got a three. I like, need, she could do it, actually. I, I need three. Her. She's also almost dead. <laughs> it's a five. Okay. So great. I hit him for great. three damage. Perfect. Uh, no, two damage. I'm sorry. Uh, and I don't have any more things to boost his, because he does boot da boost damage, uh, but I only have, I don't wait, have enough. you didn't take two at the beginning of your turn? Oh no, because this is like this just... It's not my turn, this, this is, is combat. Like a, a combat round. So he's going to hit me for two, so now I'm at four damage, so... Okay, well let uh, me take a swing. You can take a swing. And I will use... I'll use her for her accuracy. Or maybe I'll use him. Okay. He's got a lot of health still. Because um, we only need one hit. Yep. So he's got so two. Two out of six, and you pull. A four. four six. <laughs> exactly Ooh. what I needed. So you killed him. Oh, all right. Oh, Good. Oh, goodness. <sighs> the rats are dead. The rats are dead. <sighs> okay. Man, but we, uh, that cost That's us. Tough. That, that did cost, cost us. That cost us quite a bit. We are hurting. Mm -hmm. So we kind of limped out of there. We did. All right. So we fought the rats. Where does that leave us? All right. All right. Man from the Village gives us a half-hearted thanks. I'm not going to read the story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to read the story. Half-hearted thanks. Yeah. Uh, but we do get two coins. Okay. One grain, which is like a pretty like, good. Here, I have this. I always picture it being like a piece of grain. Yeah, like, take this piece of grain. We would get XP. Uh -huh. We completed quest one. Okay. Um, and now we can, vi uh, we could visit village 63 where we had gone to ah, originally yeah, so yeah, yeah. we can do that now so because okay. it didn't say go back to your boat so we right. continue with the, the, with the narrative and we are um so we arrive at this village and it's called the last hope okay so we can explore the edge of the forest eat at the fish house oh, the visit uh, a temple or we could leave and return to the ship oh so i think I think with that we should probably End it. stop. I think that's good. I yes. think that, that we, we were able to illustrate combat, which is unique. Which right? is very unique and very and cool. And a little bit of travel. A little bit of travel. Um, and, and there's a lot of things we could do here too still. So if you look at the board, right? right. Our turn's not over. Like even right now I could say, you know what? And this, it doesn't even have to be your turn to use these things. Right, it could right. be on your turn. I could say, you know, I'm going to go here and I'm going to spend three of our grain because we have so right. much of it to make flapjacks yes <laughs> and flapjacks removes three fatigue tokens uh-huh and heals two health exactly so i could say you know what let's get rid of hers let's yeah. get rid of I a know, couple who do of we these like? tests yeah. yeah and her so there's three fatigue tokens and two health and like two health i'll take one take off one of i'll take one off of him so so that's you could help we could oh. <laughs> <laughs> we could do 
more resting if we uh -huh. wanted to. Like that's how you kind of recover. Right. Um, and we will be getting more of these throughout the adventure. Exactly. Uh, but we haven't figured found them yet. But that's right. part of the joy here is trying to find that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, There's uh, a lot of like recipes, like things you learn along the way that you would learn along the way. Exactly. Likely, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's go talk about okay. it a little bit. All right, so sorry to cut you off short. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, we're going to continue on off camera, so just yeah. don't worry about uh, how that happened. But uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. And, um, and again, so we'll kind of reiterate if you're one of those people that kind of jumps to the very end and doesn't watch mm -hmm. the beginning. Um, we did talk to Ryan about this. Um, we kind of came up with a way that we could film it and make it work that made him happy and and i think does the game justice but also doesn't spoil it for people yes. so um hopefully you watched the spoiler and you're not shooting to the end of the video angry exactly and, and this is just a taste right yeah uh, it really is like just a taste we went through three four turns maybe not not even four I think not even yeah that turns. was our third turn yeah three turns yeah and did a ton of stuff right we well we're actually because we were actually like that whole rat fighting thing was Still part of my still turn. part of your turn, yeah. That you know whole I mean? combat interaction and it's it's just so you haven't even seen anything, right? Yet, right. Uh, we didn't even show you what's in this ginormous market <laughs> deck, right? With all right. these great things that I can't show you. Um, <laughs> the uh, event deck mm -hmm. is only seated with cards. There's a bunch of additional cards in the box that I randomly drew right. to build this deck. Yeah, it's gonna change. You've got these adventure cards that have all sorts of goodies, right? Like, well, this is the, um, not the adventure cards, but the um, the quest deck, the quests, right? yeah. This is the quest deck for this yeah. as it stands right now. Like, right. this is, it's huge already. Right. It's even, I think there's even another deck bigger than this in the box. Mm -hmm. So there's a ton of stuff going on here. This book is definitely a fraction of what it's probably going to be at the end. Right. Uh, so you, you're, you're literally seeing the tiniest scrap <laughs> of what's to come yeah this is the adventure deck there's so yeah, much goodness in this deck it's crazy so much going on. um and and the whole premise of the game is finding these eight artifacts right you, you've got to find eight artifacts right. in order to which we didn't even really guy. like get to that part really like in yet. the story so you know i don't know and the map is this is one like small piece of a giant atlas that you're gonna right. be you know sailing which is around. what i think is exciting is like the fact that this is like lots and lots and lots of hours worth of play sure where you're you're trying to find these eight artifacts that mm -hmm. you're, you're doing so much play before you get that reward of like oh my gosh i found one that it's like exciting when it happens yeah. do you know what i mean oh yeah and then you know but then you're going and finding another one and stuff so yep. um so it's pretty neat um you do get to upgrade your characters and everything they level up um we have the log book over there you want to grab it? Yeah, let me grab it. Yeah, so we have the logbook where you where you basically journal. The, there is a save game feature in this game where you can actually stop play, write everything down. It tells you exactly how to do it, um, and then continue on. Yeah, you can show us. I'm not showing you the other show side of this. That. You can show it. <laughs> what? So this is the logbook. You yeah. can see it. Um, and then on the back of the logbook is actually kind of a guide to... Um, the I'm sure really fast. Boom. They can Atlas. they can pause the video. Oh. My God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's also the atlas on the back where you can take notes. So uh, the idea is like with a lot of these legacy games that you're going to play through it, you're going to screw up or something, mm -hmm. maybe you lose whatever. You can come back to it again with the notes that you okay, oh wait, I remember encountering this village and you know going to eat at the fish house was kind of boring you know yeah. or you or can maybe, write the keyword down for you can, the, yeah exactly for the place, like, right? write the keyword down where you went to go to find it or whatever mm -hmm. um so that part's kind of cool too um yeah. and i think that that you know would be a fun um like might be like a fun like family thing to do if like everybody's into the game i think so yeah because you're um, you're sort of building your character and you're not controlling with more players you're obviously not controlling as many crew correct so maybe yeah. you only have two so in a four-player game like, you'd only have two yeah. crew and and the captain on your turn right. but like you're really going to focus on beefing up your specific crew members yeah. right so uh and this also could be played solo where you're 
exactly. really commanding a whole dashboard <laughs> of, of crew. Uh, but it's definitely possible, and, mm -hmm. and, and you really can soak into the adventure. So yeah. there's, there's a lot going on here. Again, we didn't want to go into too much. We don't want to go into too much more. Right. But we were more or less just wanted to show you some of the mechanics, right? Right. Of, of how the game sort of plays, what you'll be doing, um, and, and sort of how the turn structure goes. And I think yeah. that's, I, I, I hope, hope we did. Hopefully we did that. We gave you enough <laughs> and not too much. I don't think we gave you too much because there's like, yeah. that was that was literally just a taste. Yeah. So. Like if, if, you thought, if you thought that was too much, that should give you an indication of like how much how is much actually in this game. How much more there is, videos. right? So um, is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it should be on Kickstarter soon if it's not already by the time mm -hmm. you see this video. So... I highly suggest you go check it out. The link will be down below. Um, yeah. You know, if you know Red Raven's games, most people just buy them because they're Red Raven games. <laughs> exactly. uh, so I, I would say this one's no different. This is this looks yeah. like it's uh, it's going to be pretty meaty. So if you're in, if you're looking for 1,200 hours of playtime out of yes. your game, you know, this is the place to look. You've got nowhere else to be. <laughs> yeah, for the next couple of years, this show yeah. this 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 should uh, hold you over. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the playthrough. We'll see you next time. See ya.